Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to recover a Bybit account in 2024. So, if you lose access to your Bybit account, it can be stressful. But fear not, as today we'll explore the process of recovering your Bybit account in 2024. Whether you've forgotten your password or encountered other, uh, encountered other issues like accessing your account. So, stick around as I guide you through the steps to regain access and secure your crypto assets. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and enter by bits.com and hit the enter button once you do so you should be taken to their home screen website or main screen and yeah for me i'm already logged in so let me just go and do that into an incognito as an example so i should not be logged in in here so once i am in here as an example you once you visit like the login page you'll have to click of course first of all and login and let's say you lost your or you forgot your password and you don't have access to it of course, if you created your account using Google or Apple, it's pretty simple and easy to recover it. You can simply just go and log in into that with Google or with Apple, your Apple ID with your Google account. But let's say you created that account manually. So what you will need to do? Of course, if you created your account or uh, with email, you'll have to start with entering that email or mobile phone, enter that mobile phone, and even with QR code. As an example, if you have the app on your phone, you will be and already logged in. You basically have to scan this QR code with your phone and then you'll be logged in right away. Of course, if you have a sub account, you can log into that also. So just in case, let's say as an example, I created my account using an email. So I'll just enter that email out as an example at gmail.com. Of course, uh, be careful if you don't know, you create it with the Gmail, the Hotmail, Outlook, Yahoo, iCloud. Make sure to enter that out. Then you will have, of course, to enter the password. As an example, let's say I entered that password and I click on login. As you can see, invalid account information or password. So what should I do? Basically, first of all, just click on forgot password. And as you can see, you will have to enter either your email or mobile number. If you didn't, Remember your email as an example. You should not like forget your mobile number. You can even get access to that easily. Nor normally your email also, but let's say you forgot it. And as you can see, uh, important withdrawal will be restricted for 24 hours after changing your password. Just keep that in mind. And the same will be for mobile phone. So just enter your email address. Let's say as an example, this is gonna be my email address at gmail.com and click on next. Once I do so. As you can see, I'll have to do that. So select an order. So the one that is facing this direction, the one that's facing this direction, and the one that's facing this direction, and click on OK. So here, once I click on Next, as you can see, a verification code will be sent to that email. So click on Send Verification Code. And of course, one other thing. If you, while you created your account and logged into your account, as an example before, you enabled the 2FA on your account. You'll basically have to enter even that code of the 2FA as an example. So you can go to your Google Authenticator or any Authenticator app that you're using to enable the 2FA and enter that code right there as an example. So for me, I'll go to my Google Authenticator, the app that I'm using, and I'll enter that code provided there. So it's going to be like this one. And then I'll have to enter even that because I'm enabling two-factor authentication, not just one. So I'll, and I'll just go to my email provider, which is Gmail in my case. Of course, this code will change like uh, soon so i'll have just to remove it and i'll start with the code and my uh, gmail that will not change so of course i'm in Kikunito. i'll just go here because i'm already logged in and here to my gmail so as you can see this is going to be the code so 69 49 and 64 so 69 49 and 64 and here i'll have to enter the code that is in there of course this google authenticator changes the code every 30 seconds and here, as you can see, you'll have to enter the new password. So basically, as an example, let's say it's going to be 
my password and I will have to confirm that password. If it did not match it, let's go and repeat that password again without any problem and then click on confirm. And then you'll have to log in into your account normally. So now let's go and log in into your account without any problems. Then enter that password. Then click on login. And yeah, you'll have then to enter the code that is provided by my your Google Authenticator. Of course, if you don't have it or something like that, you can click on having problems with that and you can get uh, your security code sent to your email instead as an example. So for me, okay, I'll have to enter that again. Let me just go and do that, Gmail. And here I'll just enter that, click on login. And then, yeah, I'll just enter the code provided by my Google Authenticator. And I'll be logged into my account without any problems. As you can see, I'll recover my Bybit account without any problems. Of course, let me just go now to my profile at the top right corner, click on settings, click on accounts and security in here. And here as an example, I will find like email authentication, SMS authentication, uh, identity verification, of course, let's just not care about that password. You can change your password always here as an example to password that you will uh, like remember. You can write this in a piece of paper and should be around your desk or something like that. You can even enable this SMS authentication and enter your mobile phone if you want to just receive codes into your mobile phone or in your number. And of course, the email authentication is very necessary also to get the codes from if you want to receive your password. And this Google Authenticator that I have enabled, that's why they're sending me codes. Uh, and of course, I can disable it whenever I want, but it's actually very, very important. So your account will never be, if it's even if it's going to be hacked, nobody will be able to send like money uh, from your Bybit account and unless they have the access to the codes that you have but you'll they'll never have access to it you can even add some intuition codes uh, font password uh, ub uh, key authentication you can add a lot of security to your account if you wish to and yeah now your account is secure without any problems so there you have it you successfully learned how to recover your bybase account in 2024 so remember to store your new password securely and consider enabling additional security measures such as two-factor authentication uh, to enhance, of course, the security of your Bybit account. If you encounter any difficulties during the account recovery process, don't hesitate to reach out to the Bybit customer support for any assistance. So that's going to be it for me today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful choices like this one. And if you like uh, enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and goodbye.